Hey everybody, this is the Grumpy Old Guy Gaming, and today we are going to play some Gyrus for the Atari 2600. Uh, this is a game I wasn't overly familiar with, just sort of putzing around the other day, just playing for fun. And I found this in my Atari directory. It, it appears to be an arcade game Konami put out way back in 1983. I'd never heard of it previously. Uh, there are a bunch of ports of it. I, uh... I just poked around a little online about it. It is a fixed shooter, which is kind of a neat effect for its time. So what we'll be doing is we'll be playing a ship, and you can see the screen. There's a little earth in it right now, and there's stars sort of coming at us. We're going to be playing on the perimeter and shooting into the middle, which for its time was a pretty, pretty novel thing. So let's go ahead and load it up here. Could hear it playing Night on Bald Mountain there at the beginning. Also, you don't have too many Atari games that I know of with music. Uh, which is kind of unicorn enough in its own right, and I'm going to be talking kind of sparse here. One, because I'm focusing on the gameplay, and uh, two, because it's just awesome to hear the music. See, that time I got hit by the little, uh, they're firing those little yellow shots at you, and I just got sort of turned around in my head, put myself in an odd position, and I got hit, lost a ship. About the only thing I could find in fault with this game is when you get to about the equator line, uh, just halfway through the screen horizontally, you get in this weird area where you have to hit up or down. I'm um, using the direction pad here, so as long as you're moving through direction-wise, made through the stage there, as long as you're moving directionally sound, um, it's not that big a deal uh, going through all the four direction buttons. When I first tried playing the game, I was just using left and right, and I was getting stuck at that midpoint a bit. But easy enough to adjust to. You can see, we're doing great on score so far, I mean, up over 48,000, and if you've seen my other videos, you know, maybe this game's scoring generously, I would be inclined to believe that, given my actual level of skill when it comes to playing these things, but always good to see a higher number up there. And I think we are kind of crushing it here. Taking out those enemy ships before they get close at all, and you can see the planet coming into view. 50,500, still have a shift spare. Now we've got all sorts of enemies coming at us. So we're just going to do our best to not stay in one area too long, and take them out as quickly as they come at us. Trying to anticipate where the next wave's gonna come from. That one got away there, that gray ship. Oh well, we're just racking up all kind of points there. And stage bonus, maybe. So, gonna see if I can't just get to a hundred thousand with that strong start. That's the little goal I'm setting for myself as we're playing. And I definitely don't want another, you know, five hour edit session like I had the other day, so. You best believe this is my first, last, and only playthrough of the night on this game. Got shot down there. I believe this is our last ship. I want to say we're at about 80,000. Oh, wow. 
94,300. We're, we're kind of crushing it. Come on. Come on. Hopefully I don't have this turned down too much on the sound. Um, it's just so great hearing a game with music for the Atari. It's, it's that extra level. Speaking of which, we hit our goal. We hit 100,000. And still going strong. I think my math's a little off. We're well over a hundred thousand. Are we up over a million? Okay, I have no clue if the scoring on this game is broken or what, but either way, I'll take it. Got through that wave pretty well. See those little red guys coming out at us from the bottom corner there? Like, this is a fun little just zone out shooter, I'm not gonna lie. It's sort of a pleasant surprise game. Again, I knew nothing of it. It's even the NES port I've seen out there. Um, just great fun to play, and I didn't know this game existed till the other day. Okay, we're apparently working through the solar system here. We went through Neptune, and then there's Uranus. We're going with that pronunciation. For the purposes of this video, we're going with that pronunciation. After all, it's immature to say Uranus. Hate to do something tacky and classless like saying Uranus on a video. So just shooting all these ships and, well, we got another ridiculous bonus here, so. Hundred, forty-seven thousand one hundred. Yeah, I have no clue what's up with the numbers. Maybe it's just not registering in my head right, but we're up over a hundred fifty thousand. See it little meteors and things coming at us. Just trying to stay on my toes there. Dodge those and the shots. If I have to shoot the meteors, I will, but I feel dodging is probably the best idea. Now business is starting to pick up. Got that whole wave. That felt good. It's also nice that as they retreat inside, you know, you get those last shots at them and you can see them exploding in the distance there as they're fading out, you know, to the middle of the screen and everything. Just really fun. Really fun. Oh, we almost got hit there. Sitting there talking through. Definitely the kind of game I wish there was an auto-fire button for. But hey, that's that's also the fun of it, because you'd be playing it forever if it didn't kill your hand. Um, so it's a way of naturally gauging when you need to stop. Speaking of needing to stop, did we just make it to Saturn? Let's see if we can't just push it to Jupiter, huh? Now these things are coming out with some crazy looking waves. Has a little bit of a Galaga feel to it, but not much. In the sense that it's a shooter in space, it's, it has a Galaga feel. 
but that that's really the only difference. It plays really unique. It plays a lot like um, Tempest, that coin-op game, the, uh, the vector graphics one. Well, that was my final... Uh, that was my final shot there. I just did not see that one coming, and we got hit 167,400. Uh, like I was saying, this plays a lot like Tempest, and that is certainly a good thing. Very enjoyable game, one I will absolutely play again. Hopefully you enjoyed this playthrough. This has been a Grumpy Old Guy Gaming. Thank you for watching.